bring you the coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Both teams are on the field, and we're just about ready to open things up. He's out to the 30. Taken down by the kicker. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Quickly to the tailback. That'll be a pickup of a yard. Nice grab there by the tailback to at least move the ball forward for some positive yards. It's second and nine. Ball on their own 36. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. With the pass incomplete. Well, a new quarterback, but we saw this kid getting reps both in practice and in the pregame walkthrough, so this isn't a big surprise. Catches it, and he's looking for more. Knocked out of bounds at the 49. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. First and 10. Ball on the 49. He's knocked out of bounds at the 40. Yeah, I'm not shocked to see him have a chance to run the football. I remember being out of practice earlier this week, and one thing that became very clear is this wide receiver not only can make great plays in the passing game, but they're going to try to do what they can on reverses and different things to get him the football. And here's an example of what he can do and how explosive he can be. The defense got a great push and blew that play up well behind the line of scrimmage. From the 45-yard line, second down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Tackle made at about the 33-yard line. You know, Brad, that's the second, third down that they've been able to convert on this drive. And this offense right now has really showed a lot of poise and been able to hold on to the football and try to maintain this drive. Tackle at the 27-yard line. No game. That brings up second and nine. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Fires it quickly. Got him again. He scores. What a play. And he adds the extra point. A nine play, 66 yard drive. And they come away with seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. So the score now, 7-0. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He's out to the 30. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. The Tigers have shown over the course of the season that they want to get this guy the football, but you can't just go to him every play. Well, on the road, you especially want to take the crowd out of the game, and the one guy you know who can do it is this wide receiver. The problem you have is this defense, more often than not, is going to be a line to take him out of the game. And that, to your point, Brad, that's where somebody's going to have to step up, whether it's the running game, some of the other receivers. You're going to have to take some of the pressure off of him and really make it a team effort to be able to win this game on the road.
We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 43-yard line. Nice run to the outside. Call it a gain of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Pitches it. He's got the corner. He gets hit out of bounds at the 41. That's a gain of nine on the play. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 41 yard line. They'll bring him down around the 40 yard line. That makes it second and 10. From the 27 yard line. First down. Makes it to the 17. He gets another set of downs and more importantly, opens up a whole host of play calling possibilities for the coaching staff. when the ball ricochets like that. Good effort by the defender. Here's the eighth play of the series. Makes it to the eighth. The offensive line got a really good push there, allowing the back to pick up nine on the play. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. six-yard line. This is the 10th play of this drive. He's taken down at the three. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. The sophomore just stuck it to the ball carrier right there. That's a very good tackle. We've got second and goal. Three yards for the touchdown. And the goal line defense digging in here. And they make the stop right around the four-yard line. And this is the 12th play of the drive. A tight, low-scoring game in that first 15 minutes. Let's see if things open up in the second quarter. 7-0, Hurricane. to the action now here in the second quarter. Check, tight right, tight right, tight right. They're crowding the line. <laughs> and they'll score. The extra point to tie this game up. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A 12-play, 66-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. And Brad, right now, the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches, opening up some big running lanes. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. They'll bring him down at the 33. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. And he's tackled at about the 29-yard line. The option is all about timing, and on that play, the timing was just off. That's going to happen sometimes. 
Second and 14. Ball on the 29-yard line. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Strike to his receiver, no good. around the 35-yard line. That series left the offense scratching their heads a little. That makes it fourth and eight. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. What a collision. Pretty good job by the return man there. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That makes it second and six. It's second down, six to go. Ball on the 39. And off to the left. And he's taken down at the 47. Call it a gain of eight yards. That makes it first and ten. He's at the 40. He's tackled around the 33-yard line. Good solid running right there. Getting past the defensive lineman and into the secondary before he can be stopped. First and ten, ball on the 33. Four down, four down. Mike four, Mike four. Takes the ball right. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. forward to about the 29. Third down, and they need to get it to the 23. Gets rid of it quickly, and that was almost picked. And that makes it fourth down. Boy, great defense on that play. They were expecting the pass, and they defended it very well by getting a hand in there to break up the play. Trying to take the lead by a field goal. The kick is up, and he splits the uprights. all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He's taken down at the 29. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Hand off, and he's met in the backfield. From their own 26-yard line, it's second down. They'll spread the field with five wide. Quick throw out to the receiver. And he hits him hard at the 49-yard line. From the 49-yard line, first down. Tackle made at about the 27-yard line. It's a great job here by the quarterback of recognizing the outside linebacker blitz and delivering the football for a first down.
from the 27 yard line. It's first down. Mike four, Mike four. And he just gets rid of it. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Caught out of the open. Tackle right around the 12-yard line. Good job here by the receiver. Look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. From the 12-yard line, first down. And he just gets rid of it. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Run left side. There he goes. Good outside run there. They're about four yards away here on third down. Just throws this one away. He's looking to tie the ball game up with this one. Kicks up, and it splits the uprights. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He's out to the 30. Tackle made the 33-yard line. You know, we're getting so used to pinball football with a lot of points. Kind of fun to see defenses play this way. Kind of refreshing, isn't it? I mean, every single week we call games and you're seeing scores in the 30s and 40s. This is one of those low-scoring games. Which offense will get that big break? Eventually, it could be the team that wins it. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. They'll bring him down at the 45. First and 10. Ball on the 45 yard line. Quick pass. Brought down at about the 43 yard line. He is such a good target, really anywhere on the field. But they like to get him the ball in short to medium range situations. He's pushed out of bounds, right around the 40. Gaining three yards. That'll make it second and seven. From the 40-yard line, second down. Mike four, Mike four. Here we go, D. Three. Gets it off as he's hit, completes. And he is drilled at the 35-yard line. That screen pass nets maybe five yards. The Tigers use their second timeout. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. He's got him, but he's short of the first down. And there's a missed opportunity by the offense. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Quick release, tight end, incomplete. His receiver didn't have much of a chance to make a play on the ball, so credit the defender for breaking it up. It's second and 10. Ball on the 36. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. 
He flings it. He's hit and taken down. I'll tell you something. I'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on. He's really throwing the ball with some purpose. Gets it out. He's met immediately. A four-yard loss. Well, that play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get-go. We played a half of football. This one's all even at 10. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Ball security was a major theme coming into this game, and both offensive coordinators have to be thrilled with the fact that their offenses, first and foremost, did a good job of taking care of the ball. And you don't see it uh, every game, that's for sure, that both teams don't have a turnover at the half, and you usually see those critical mistakes that set up a short field for you to take advantage of, and, and it's definitely nice. It's nice to be able to put in a plan all throughout the week and to be able to execute it and not to be able to make those big mistakes because coaches will tell you it's those big mistakes that kill you. It's okay to be rushed in the pocket as a quarterback and then throw it to your mom in the third row. Don't throw it at harm's way. Both quarterbacks done a good job, and as a result, both teams with zero turnovers in the first half. David's ready to get back on that couch, get the remote, get all the games dialed up to watch what's going on around the country. Time to get you back for your second half. Brad and Kirk, ready to roll. And the second half just about set to get started. We're dead even. He's out to the 30. And he's hammered down. I think it says something about the quality of the preparation of both teams that we're into the third quarter and nobody's been able to pull away. Both sides seem to know what to expect. Straight run here, and he's got nowhere to go. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 31. Shoved out of bounds at about the 33-yard line. They go to the air and pick up a couple. Nice grab there by the tailback to at least move the ball forward for some positive yards. And here's a quick throw. And that will make it fourth down. Yeah, they just couldn't connect on the pass there. That was a very good stand by this defense. Fourth down. Booming kick. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. And he was able to pick up some nice yards on the return. A lot of times you'll see teams start to clinch up a little bit when games stay close well into the second half. You need to stay loose, keep doing what you've been doing all week in practice, and execute when it's time. He's taken down around the 31-yard line. Two-yard loss for the halfback. It's second and 12. Ball on their own 31. Larry, Larry. It up. My four, my four. He's got it with room to run. And they make the stop at the 41. To be successful, you've got to be able to come through on third down, and that's just what they did with that big run. From their own 49-yard line, first down. He 
gets out to about the 48-yard line. Call it a gain of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. Five wide. And he throws it away. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 41. And he's tackled at the 39-yard line. it out to about the 29 and that's their third first down of the drive the defense needs to figure out a way to stop them or else they're going to have no problem putting points on the board here's the eighth play of the series and he makes it out to about the 27 yard line second down and nine to go ball on the 27. Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. Tenth play of the drive. And he's going to be sacked. What a play by the freshman linebacker. There's really nothing he could have done against a rush like that. Big kick here to try to pin the offense deep in their own territory. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. Time's getting a little bit tighter now. you got to make every possession count. And down he goes around the 34-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball in the 34. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. He's out of bounds at the 38. That makes it second and six. Quick throw. And he's taken down around the 43 yard line. Number 24. That makes it first and 10. From the 43 yard line, it's first down. and it's almost picked off. Tipped away. It's a great job here by the defensive coordinator with his play call. A lot of times you start to maybe think about blitzing linebackers. This time he keeps the linebackers back in position to be able to knock the football away and not give this offense a chance to pick up the first down. He's going right. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. First down. From the 22-yard line, 
First down. the middle for a nice game. That's good for a game of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. And this play is number eight on the drive. Flares it and it almost had it intercepted. They're really fortunate that wasn't intercepted. Not a very smart decision by the quarterback. He had no shot at completing it. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. The 10, the 5, and they're in. Touchdown. He makes the PAT. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Sends it sailing downfield. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. The Tigers continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. He's tackled right around the 26-yard line. We head to the final quarter, and we've got a great game on our hands. 17-10, Tigers. in this very pivotal fourth quarter. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Nice pitch and catch for the first down. Tackle made right around the 38-yard line. From their own 38-yard line, first down. They got to him before he could get back to the line. By the time the running back here got the football, he's looking up and he's got a couple defensive linemen closing in on him because they were able to slip off of their blocks. Really, there's nothing he could do at all there. That was more of a miscommunication and just getting overmatched up front by the offensive line. on the run. One thing about this linebacker over the years that separates him from the rest are his instincts and ability to make the play. That's a nice tackle by the senior. It's third down and long, and losing by a possession, I would expect them to have to go to the air. They come out in an empty backfield. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. Tackle right around the 48-yard line. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Got the corner. He's at the 30. He's at the 20. And he hits him hard at the 18. This is the eighth play of the drive. And they hit him in the backfield. Well, the question now is, how will they respond after losing a couple on that run? We've got a second and 11. Ball on the 19-yard line. Mike 
Zips it to the tight end. Inside the 10. He faked out everybody in the stadium. When you can sell the run that well, you're going to have the upper hand on the defense. This is the 10th play of this drive. Less than three minutes in the game. And they'll bring him down behind the line. He wasn't decisive at all in that option. And once he kept it himself, there was no place to go. That brings him second to goal. Second down and goal. Ball on the 11-yard line. They complete that play-action pass. Good for seven yards. Tight end does a good job here of selling his block and then getting out on his route and making a nice catch for a good game. Here's the 12th play of the drive. They're packed in tight on the line. The fullback rumbles ahead for about a yard. Call it a game. This is it. They need three yards for the touchdown here on fourth down. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Quick strike to the receiver. Touchdown. Will be tied with the extra point. And he converts the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You've got to be aware that capitalizing on this drive is crucial. You want to take the pressure off you and put it on your opponent. He's on the run. Now he's going to run and watch out. They'll bring him down right around the 40. We've got a first and ten. Ball on their own 40. Just under two minutes in the game. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. He gets hit out of bounds around the 46-yard line. That'll make it second and four. He's under pressure. Throws complete. He's got space to work. Run down. Right around the 50. Four-yard gain, and that'll be a first down. I think they were expecting a run on that play, Brad, and it allowed the quarterback to throw for just enough yards to get the first down. When you've got a quarterback making throws that quickly, the defense doesn't have a lot of time to react to the play. He wants it all going long. Oh, he had the pick, and he dropped it. Number one. It's second and ten. Ball on the 50-yard line. And he's hit immediately. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. rid of this one. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Just throws this one away. Third down, and they need to get it to the 28. frustration by that offense, but you've got to give the defense credit for coming up with a stop in this quarter in a game this close. Just over a minute left. Well, that's just unbelievable defense. Tie game, a stop that big, this late in the ball game, it looks like it's inevitable we're going to overtime.
Here we are late in the fourth quarter, and this is what this game has come down to. Every possession is going to count, and this could be the one right here. They'll spread the field with five wide. Gets it out quickly. He's taken down around the 41-yard line. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. stop the 48-yard line. The Hurricanes will use their first time out of the half. From their own 48-yard line, it's first down. He gets rid of this one. yard loss on the play. Well, that play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get-go. And he's tackled at the 41-yard line. the end of regulation and this game is still unsettled so we're going to overtime. And we're back ready now for overtime. Pulls down the catch and he's got room here. And he's level at the 15-yard line. Looks like the defense played the run that time. With this offense, you've got to be ready for a pass on any down in any situation. From the 15-yard line, first down. There's a strike complete. He's in for the touchdown. Brand new ball game once you get to overtime, and this was a really big score. These guys have taken charge. Now it's their game to win. And he hits the PAT. It's first and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. He's got it with room to run. And down he goes at the 14. the grab and steps out right away. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. He's scrambling. Keeps it, and he's got a touchdown. So they come up with the equalizer. This offense did just what they had to do. They knew they needed six points, and they got it. That was just a great series. The extra point to tie this game up. And he tacks on the extra point. We've got a dandy here, folks. We're heading to overtime number two. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 25. Red two. Hey, kill, kill, kill. Black. 
Quick pass. And he's taken down at the 13. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. First and goal from the one. Expect to see something straight up the middle. They line up in the jumbo set. Pitch play to the left. He's tackled around the one-yard line. A one-yard gain by the halfback. That brings him second and goal. So the offense steps up and gets a big six points here in double overtime. And that gives him some breathing room for the time being. But I'll tell you, the way this game is being played, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw this offense on the field again in a third overtime. And he adds the extra point. From the 25-yard line, first down. Defensive coordinator anticipating this five-wide set, and he comes in with his dime packing. Quick strike to the receiver. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. That makes it first and goal. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Yeah. Out of bounds at the six. That's good for him. Three yards. That brings him second and goal. Play action. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. Tackle made just outside the goal line. That's a game of six on the play. That makes it third and goal. From the one-yard line, third down. A short yardage defense here. And they're in. Touchdown. Can you believe this? It appears two overtimes just aren't enough for these young men. This has just been amazing. These two teams have been playing dead even. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Just like we talked about earlier, now that we're going to a third overtime, the offense must go for two if they score a touchdown. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. And he's going to be sacked. The smart quarterbacks and offensive linemen have a really unique relationship. A quarterback should take care of his offensive linemen. But after that play and that hit, you really got to be wondering what kind of relationship this quarterback and his offensive linemen have after that. Need to get it to the 15. Wants to go long and done. And he's all the way in for the touchdown. So the offense comes up big and gets six points here in triple overtime. And unless they want to leave this in the hands of their defense, they better come up big here again because they have to go for the two-point conversion. And they're looking to get two points here. Toss, left side. They don't get it.
from the 25-yard line. It's first down. So three overtimes later, this may finally be it. They're only a couple yards away from victory, but we saw how difficult it was for the other team to get it in from there. So the offense is going to go for two. Unable to convert that two-point conversion on the ground. This one might never end. We're headed to another overtime. First and 10. Ball on the 25. Got a man. Watch out here. He's out of bounds at about the five-yard line. two-point conversion. I got number 18. I got you, 18. What's the run? They're running it. Yeah. Oh my God. And the defense stops the ground game. No two-point conversion there. First and 10. Ball on the 25-yard line. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. That makes it first and goal. Now he tries to buy some time. Decides to take it himself, and he's got it. Touchdown. This is where having to go for two really makes things tough. I'm sure they'd feel a lot better about ending this if they had to just kick the extra point. So the offense will stay on the field and attempt the two-point conversion. Watch out for a pass play when you're in a goal line D. This one is over. You know, I can't think of a better way for such an awesome game to end. This has been great all the way through, and you just knew it was going to come down to the last snap. This will be one these guys will never forget. A great game here today in a tight one. 45-43. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Kirk Street, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.